Hello and welcome back to Let's Try Worth Trying. Hi-yay. Hi-yay. If you, if you're aware, know about this game, um, that I've completed basically everything, that's because I already recorded this video and, uh, had, had audio problems. That's, isn't that fun? Anyway, uh, this is Hi-yay and it's a really cool game. It kind of, um, there's kind of been a, an almost resurgence in like really cool, uh, arcade games, kind of like a la, you know, Gunlocked and Vampire Survivors and others. Uh, and uh, this isn't super like them because there's uh, not really much sense of progression. It's more like maybe Devil Daggers or uh, Swarm Lake. It's a really difficult game that you, is going to punish you for sure. You're gonna you're gonna be punished. You're gonna die a lot, um, like I just did. Um, and you're gonna want to try again and get better. And eventually you will get better. So what is this a game about? Well, we're drawing through enemies and basically killing them and trying to rack up as high of a combo as we can. The higher kill streak we get, the more points we get, the more the higher our combo, and we're just trying to survive as long as possible. One one uh, you know, mistake is the end, except for one character. One character gets a second chance, um, but. All the same, it's basically a uh, it's a very punishing kind of arcade game, but that's okay because eventually you can learn how to survive and how how best to to rack those points up. I've I've got a I, I really like this game. I, there's a maybe one or two things that I wouldn't say concern me. I almost don't even want to bring them up because they're probably problems on my end. But I do find that the drawing like power on the top left is a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes it uses a little bit and sometimes it uses a lot. Like for instance, I can do that like huge swirl and like go across the map and zip back and forth and kill like 13 enemies. And it will use like half the bar. And then sometimes I'll use it in a, just to kill one enemy and it will use up half the bar. <laughs> So uh, I don't super understand how it works. Uh, if it's, I think it is like how much you use and not just like how long you use it. So, you know, it it is uh, it is fair in that sense um, that you, you can't just like exploit it and do like, oh, like little quick kills. By the way, when it comes to drawing, there are some limitations. For most characters anyway, you can only draw if you have a full bar. So you do kind of want to maybe limit how much you use because then you're going to be without it for much longer, right? Like this circumstance in which I used too much of it and was not able to basically navigate out of that situation or survive the situation. Oh, those archers. The number of times I've died to those archers is, is so many. There are, usually I tend to try and prioritize them because they are such a problem for me. You can see also we can draw through bullets and that's totally fine. In fact, it, it eliminates them. I don't know if it gives you any points or anything. Oh, oh, it just barely did not have enough drawing power, which is a really unfortunate. There's achievements for every character. Most of them, I believe they're all basically the same. It's, uh, you know, like get over 10,000 points, survive for uh, basically a full minute and kill like 15 enemies in a single thing, which I'm probably do like right here. Not quite, that's fine. I mean, I've already gotten the achievement. I basically got every single achievement outside of two for one character, which I'm gonna talk about maybe after like one more run with this character. We're gonna go through the other characters and, and kind of their differences. They do definitely change the game up a bit and they do uh, also make the game easier and harder depending on the character, which is a, is interesting. I almost expect to see like a difficulty rating on some of them because they are like, some are just straight up better than others. Oh, that was bad. All right, let's try Let's have a look at the other characters. That was Kazuya. We're going to try Oda. Oda was actually the one I, I, I tried first. They, they're they a little bit, if you don't know what, what they're all about, they can be a little bit confusing because you actually get a second life. I'm not going to purposely kill myself to, to show you that, but well, yeah, there it is. So there's our first death. And um, along with getting a second life, they also kill everything on the field when they die the first time. Oh. They're a little bit slower. You can probably tell that. I think they have basically the same limitations when it comes to drawing. I don't think that uh, they're any different than Kazuya. Oh. So we died. We died there. So yeah, it's a little bit different from uh, the, the trends we've been seeing lately, which you know I think is a good thing in some ways. This could have easily been uh, another roguelike where 
uh, you know, you collect different power-ups or, you know, like, Lord forbid, it, you, you collect cards that give you different uh, synergies oh, and no, stuff like oh, that. No. And there's nothing wrong with those mechanics at all, um, but we certainly have been seeing them a lot, and uh, it, it, it definitely creates a bit of burn burnout. Oh, did we just die? All right, let's, oh, sorry, we'll do one, we'll do one more run. Just one more run as Oda. So it's kind of nice to just see a game that is like very, it's simple in its premise and in its execution. And it's it's just focusing on the addictive nature of, uh, you know, racking up a score. It's, it's good old fashioned video games. Back before the days of procedural generation and and collecting cards and all that business. But it's also got just a really cool premise and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I did want to try, I do have, it has tablet support, but I, have not had a chance to try it out. Um, ooh, that was maybe an unfortunate place to end my kill there. All right, this is this is turning out to be a pretty good run. Considering there's like very little like variety in the levels in terms of like what you're experiencing, I do tend to find myself in very like different circumstances. You know, like you can you can play the a level exactly the same way, and I don't know if maybe the the enemy generations are different, but are we dead now? Oh no, that was our first life. Okay, so we could possibly get over 10,000 points on this run if I play correctly. This is how I rack up my score. It's just like basically, oh, that was bad. Basically kite the enemies and group them into like one big mass and then do like a big old zigzaggy, zigzaggy kill across them. We're gonna try Tomo. Tomo um, is... Well, she's slow and she has, you can see, the craziest, like, draw amount. Like, she basically has, she has a ridiculous amount of draw. However, it charges back pretty slowly. So, you do kind of want to limit how much you, you use. The other nice thing about her is that she doesn't have to wait for the bar to fully charge before she can draw again. So, in a way, she's, she's almost got, like, unlimited draw ability. But you do, like I say, you want to almost ration it because if you find yourself in a situation where you're like completely spent, it, you're, you're a sitting duck for sure. That's that's like a hundred percent not gonna fly. Oh god, I don't know why I didn't like draw there to get myself out of the situation. That's the other thing is like you can use the drawing ability just to like move, since it basically offers you invulnerability and the slow mo basically like offers you all of extra time to to think. Um, you you can you can use it to pretty much escape any situation. Oh god. Oh that was so bad. The archers oftentimes kill me. Okay, let's make that happen. I probably do better in this game if I didn't let the enemies build up like I do. But I feel like that's that's the secret. Oh wow. Okay. Let's try let's try a different character. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and get the achievements again. <laughs> to prove that I can. So we're gonna try Mas Masashige. Masashige, I have problems with. Um, it's the only character in the game that I don't like in the terms of like the character um, makes me not enjoy the game as much. If that's, you know, I, I know that sounds like critical, but it's kind of true. Um, I'll talk about a few things that I I don't like about Master Shige. So Master Shige, you can see, is very slow, and um, when you attack at all, it uses up their charge completely. So you have to wait for their charge meter to uh, fill up every single time. Now you can maybe see the problem with this. Obviously, they get an AOE attack when they uh, finish their their move, right? So that's the that's the benefit of Masashige. That's what th that's their like technique. Um, I don't think that the AOE makes up for their shortcomings. I think that Masashige is just like straight up bad. Uh, and I'll tell you why. First of all, they're so slow that I have found that the arrows, like when you're when you're kill, um, up against an archer, you can just like get hit by the arrows because you can't move out of the way in time. I cannot believe I made it out of that one. Um, also, their their wind up and AOE attack is so slow that uh, even even when it's like we're coming out of the animation, that you can find yourself in a situation where an archer basically has spawned, is winding up their their arrows, and are firing them off by the time that your animation is finished, 
and you are not fast enough to basically escape the situation. So the only success I've managed to find, you can see my score is not quite uh, 10,000. The only success I've managed to find is by prioritizing the archers because they really are like the worst enemy to, to Master Shige. The last thing that bothers me um, about this, this situation is that since you cannot really see the full screen, um, you can find yourself in a situation where an archer will spawn across the map, is targeting you, and there's not much you can do about it because you're recovering from using your, your attack. Um, all of this combined makes me, like, really done. Just not like this character. Ouch. Despite all of that, and I mean, I know this is the, maybe the most critical I've been for something like this uh, for Let's Try. Um, I still really like playing the game, even with Masashige. So I think that it is a testament to um, both the, the premise and the execution of of this game because it is it's simple enough there you almost saw you basically almost saw uh an archer like shoot me as i'm coming out of my animation there um the premise alone and the addictive nature of like trying to rack up the points is is enough to kind of make it up for this character and also i have to say from an objective standpoint um Mesashige might literally just be meant to, to be difficult it's not that they're bad, it's that they are like meant to make the game harder. Um, and you know, you're gonna get a different score maybe for different characters. Although I know I haven't, I haven't checked on that, maybe not. But this, is, this isn't this is bad yet. Oh. Uh, so there's there's me trying to, yeah, there's, there's the arrows. Uh, there's me trying to get all of the uh, bullet shooting heads out of the way uh and then running out inexplicably running out of draw power not having enough and then dying coming out of my animation there's like a good example of like all of the issues with masashige coming together to form like the perfect storm uh situation in which i i will just die it might be that i i don't know this is me completely theory crafting even though it shows a full bar maybe i'm still like charging up draw power and oh, yeah uh maybe like I'll, i actually have extra draw power that i'm not seeing and the reason i have less draw power in other times is because i'm using my draw like really quickly after using my last attack i feel like that might be it that that would explain why i'm like so low on draw power sometimes oh. yeah, despite all of this i still kind of want to try and get the the extra achievements with uh masashige that was, it's all, uh, you know, you gotta do a flick, flick and twirl and, and, uh, of the wrists. There you go. Oh god, no! Almost wish they were, like, little, um, power-ups that would appear around the board that would, like, help you re recharge your, your draw power. Um, like, you could, definitely, I could see myself, like, risking it all to get some, some of those just so I can, um, get a higher combo. No! We're not doing that, Archer. We're not doing that. Okay. Yeah, oh, that was almost death. I really want that Archer. Oh my God. Oh. I don't know what was what was going on there. Yeah. I, I was honestly d dead like three or four times there. That was so close. I can't believe, I cannot believe that head was not in the AoE. I, I just want the actual, like, collision detection of the AoE to be, like, I don't know, half an inch bigger. Even if it makes it means that she get, like, easier. It just feels like it should be bigger. Oh my god. That's the other, uh, on an objective standpoint, I might just be bad at the game. Or just bad at Masashige, and that's why I'm uh, struggling so much. Need to prioritize those enemies. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't like this. That was pretty good, actually. I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Yeah, that there. Oh, I really thought it was dead. Oh. 
No! Hey, we got over 10,000. I just barely did not make it to the 60 seconds, so we didn't get the survivor achievement. But I did make it over 10,000, so hey. The last character is uh, Hide, Hideyoshi. I think that's how you pronounce their name. They're, um, I think they're my favorite character. Um, they're, they're one you have to unlock. And um, they're really cool. First of all, they're really quick. You can see like their, their movement speed is insane. Um, they basically have no limitations when it comes to their drawing power. However, they get no slow-mo. I don't think that it's much of a downside at all because um, because you have infinite basically drawing power. Like I never, I've never really seen the limitations of uh, their drawing power. What separates the other characters and makes them really difficult is always the limitations when it comes to how much you can draw. Remove those limitations, even with when you lose um, slow-mo, they become like the best character. I know I'm dying a lot right now. That's because I'm playing badly. Let me, let me try and play good now. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try now. I wasn't actually trying. So here's here's what makes um, them insane is you can basically just keep moving and it kind of makes his character insane. Like there's no slow-mo, but you are still invincible when you're doing your attack. So as long as you're quick, you can basically do this as much as you need to. Do like quick surgical strikes basically. Oh. Okay, that was that was not it. They also get a score multiplier, like they get straight up more points. I think this is to make up for the fact that you're likely not going to want to play in the standard way and that you kite enemies on the field. Oh, I thought I was good there. You're not gonna wanna kite a bunch of enemies and then kill them all at once. You're probably more likely gonna wanna kill them in small groups so that you don't get overwhelmed. So um, he actually makes up for the one um, like flaw in this character is you get you get more points for your for your kills. Oh, that was nice. He just feels like a total badass. I I, I like this character a lot. You can get away with a lot, and uh, I mean also no, you can also not get away with a lot. So. I don't know, are they overpowered if you know how to use them? Maybe Masashige is the same way and I just haven't figured them out yet. Oh, that was that was really good. That's a great example of what I'm talking about with, with this character. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that was so good. 15. I thought, I honestly thought I was dead there. Oh, there, there it is. So I actually just beat my high score um, with this, with this character, Hideyoshi. Anyway, this has been Hayai. I, I like this game a lot. It's only like a buck also. So if you think that maybe, uh, there's like not a lot of content here. I think that this game is absolutely worth a dollar. <laughs> like it's it's a lot of fun and I could definitely see myself sinking at least an hour if you subscribe to that kind of methodology for getting your value for your dollar from games. Um, I could definitely see myself getting a few hours out of this, out of this game. Oh, also um, apparently the leaderboard is for your combined score, like all of your characters. And I'm apparently like, 22 from the top. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I become like the big simple of Hayai, the biggest simple. What are global rankings? You do have to get 356,000. So I don't know. Maybe not. But <laughs> anyway, I mean that's that's pretty good. I'm happy with this. But yeah, Hayai. I think this is really cool. Um, if you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.